Okay, class, we're about to start lesson five, simple interest. So we're picking up where we left off at. So with lesson five, we're dealing with the formula interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Now, interest is the amount of money that you make or you pay on a loan. Or you can make money on a loan like when you put your money in a bank and they pay you interest. And this is called the simple interest formula. The principal is the initial amount that you put in or the initial amount you borrow, depending on what, what side of it you're on. The rate is the interest rate and the time is typically in years. So now, we're going to go right to the problems here. And it says, solve these problems using a formula for simple interest. You may use your calculator. So good. So now remember, the interest is the amount that you either earn or the amount that you owe. The principal is your beginning amount. The rate is your interest rate. And the time is in years. So let's go here and look at problem number one. It says, oh, before we do number one, I didn't show you the abbreviation of this. The abbreviation of interest is I is equal to PRT, which is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Okay, Leah borrows $1,500 for two years at a 12% interest rate. Find the interest on the loan. So, we don't know what our interest is, so we have a question mark. The principal is the initial amount that she borrowed, which is 1500. The rate is the interest rate, which is 12%, and the time they have is two years. So that is, this is the formula. So now we substitute. The I we don't know, the principal is 1500. The rate is 12%, which we have put as 0 0.12, and the time is two years, which is two. Now we're told we can use the calculator. Now like I told you in times past, when it says we can use a calculator, we're going to use the calculator. So we could, we could type it in as I showed it here with the parentheses. You got 1500 parentheses, then 0 0.12, with the parentheses and then two in a parentheses and press enter. So it's $360. That's how much interest is owed after two years. Okay, now we're going to skip down to problem number four. It says, how much interest would you earn on an investment of $600 for eight years at 10% interest. Okay, so we go to number four. Now we know we're still using this same formula. Now we know we don't know what the interest is. The principal, they said you invested $600. That was your initial investment. The rate or the interest rate was 10%. And then as you see here, I don't have enough room for the time, so I'm going to write T over here. So the time was eight years, so that's eight. So now we put in a formula. The principal is 600. The rate is 10%, which is 0 0.10, and the time is eight. So the interest is equal to, now we'll put this, we'll clear it and multiply. Parentheses, we have 600. Close the parenthesis, open parenthesis, 0 0.10. Close the parenthesis, open the parenthesis. Then we had 8. Close the parenthesis. So they would make $480. So that's how much interest would be made. Now, now we go here to problem number... Um, I think what I want to do, 
is problem five and six, and I think that'll be it for the top. Okay, problem number five, Todd invests 6,500 for three and a half years at 5% interest. How much interest will he, will he be paid at the end of the time period? So, this is problem number five. Problem number five. So we have our interest is equal to principal times rate times time. We don't know what our interest is. Our principal for number five is $6,500. Our rate is 5%. And our time is three and a half years. Since it's in years, we can just write it as 3.5. Okay, so now we put this in a formula. The principal is 6,500, the rate is 0 0.05, and the time is 3.5. Okay, now we pull up our calculator. We clear this out. So we have 6,500. Well, let me put this. Well, you could do this too. Times 0 0.05 times 3.5 and that'll give us the interest will be $1,137.50 that will be our interest all right now we go to problem six problem six It says Ricardo borrows $1,850 for eight months at 12% interest. What is the total amount he will pay back at the end of the loan period? So we still use the interest is equal to principal times rate times time. We don't know what the interest is. The principal is what he initially borrowed, which is $1,850. The rate or interest rate is 12%. And the time, now remember, time is supposed to be in years, but they have it in months. So we know it's 12 months in a year, so we would take the months and divide it by 12. And you could leave it as 8 over 12 because we're going to put this in our calculator. So, so we had interest is equal to the principal is 1850. The rate would be 0 0.12, and the time would be 8 twelfths. Now we put this in our calculator. So we can have 1850. Now you can use the parentheses if you choose. You don't have to since it's all multiplication. Times 0 0.12 times, we'll put our fraction. We have 8 hit the bottom, the bottom arrow, and then 12. Press enter. So the interest would be a hundred forty eight dollars okay now now we come down here with these last few problems it's uh, problems 8 through 12 now it tells us to choose the one best answer to each question you may use your calculator all right so what I want to do I want to start off with problem number eight. It says Jane borrowed $1,300 to buy two for a job as an auto mechanic. The loan is one year, six months at 9% simple interest. Which of the following expressions could be used to find the amount she will pay back at the end of the loan period? Okay, first of all, for number eight, we know it's interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So we don't know what the interest is. The principal is $1,300. The rate, as we know, is the interest rate is 9%. And the time, now remember, the time has to be in years. It tells us it's one year and six months. We know six months is half of a year. So we could put the time as 1.5 or one and a half years. So now when we write this out, It'll be the interest is equal to 1300 times 0 0.09 times 1.5. Now we will find the one that looks close to this here, 
which would be actually A. They just did it in a different order, but it still has the same values. And remember, I told you all before, with multiplication, multiplication is commutative, so you can uh, change the direction you multiply in, as long as it's all multiplication. So now we do number 10. So with number 10, it says, Caleb borrowed $1,500 from his aunt. He plans to pay his aunt back in nine months. If he pays 4% interest on a loan, what is the total amount he will pay back in nine months? So we're still using the same formula. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time. We don't know what the interest is. The principal is $1,500. The rate is 4%. And the time, you notice here is nine months, so we could do nine over 12. Okay, so now we substitute. Principal is 1,500. The rate would be 0 0.04, and the time would be nine twelfths. So we could put that in our calculator. So we have 1,500 times 0 0.04. times, we'll put our fraction, 9, down arrow, 12, right arrow, and then enter. So the interest would be $45. Okay, now, our last problem we'll do is problem number 12. It says questions 11 and 12 refer to the following information. So let's do 12. Charlotte chooses option B, but she decides to borrow $2,800. What is the total amount she would pay back when the loan is due? So we have number 12. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Interest, we don't know. The principal says she borrowed $2,800. The rate, if we look at option B, the rate is 10%. And then the time is three years. So we substitute. The interest is equal to 2,800 times the rate is 0 0.10 times the time is three. So now we put that in our calculator. So we add 2,800. times 0 0.10 times 3. That gives us the interest will be $840. And $840, oh, it says what is the total amount she will have to pay back. So we found the interest. So now we have to take the amount she borrowed and add the $840 to it. To get the total amount. So this would be 0, 4, 8 and 8 is 16, carry a 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. So it would be $3,640, which is D. Now, had they just asked for the interest, 840 would have been it. But because they asked for the total amount, that's how we get 3640 Now, Now, uh, we are, well, I'm going to do number 11. Number 11 has some more parts to it. So let me go ahead and do 11. It says Charlotte needs to borrow $2,400. So we know that's her principal. She is considering the three loan options shown above. How much more interest would Charlotte pay if she takes, takes loan option C instead of option A? So we have interest. This is 11. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time. We don't know what the interest is. The principal would be $2,400. That's for both of them. The rate, now we're comparing A and C. So we're going to say that this was A, and then we'll put this as C. So the interest is still questionable. The principal is still $2,400. And then the rate and time. So the rate here for option A, the rate of interest is 12%. 
and then option C, the rate is 9%. The time for option A is two and a half years, so we could put 2.5, and the time for option C is four years. Okay, so we'll just be doing this formula twice. The principal is 2,400 times the rate, 12%. Now this is option A, and the time is 2.5. Option C, still be 2,400, but the rate will be 0 0.09, and the time would be four years. So we're gonna end up subtracting these values once we get their answer. So we would take 2,400 times 0.12 times 2.5. And that will give us $720. Now we would do the second. We had 2,400 times 0 0.09 times four, and that gives us $864. So now, so we would subtract this, we would take the $864 and subtract $720. So we have four, four, so this would be $144 extra she would pay. So, it asks us how much more she would pay for taking option C as opposed to option A, so it would be B, 144. And that is our final answer. And we are done. And I'm about to, up I'm about to upload this to YouTube and have a wonderful day.